today I would like you uh, to talk to you about uh, the importance of learning flexibility or how COVID-19 transformed our teacher professional development program. So firstly, I'd like you to see who my co-authors were. So these were Branko Bognar, PhD, who is an associate professor at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in Osijek. Uh, and my dear colleague Ivana Šustik, also PhD, who is a postdoctoral researcher. And on the right hand side, you can see my photograph. And I am a research and teaching assistant at fa the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in Osijek. So on this map of Croatia, uh, you can see where Osijek is located. And this is the, a few photos of, these are a few photos of our faculty building and unfortunately during the COVID-19 uh, times, we cannot welcome you in Osijek, but sometime after all this is over, after this health crisis, we hope to welcome you in Osijek and share some incredible and really valuable face-to-face -face, face, um, meetings with you. So the topic of our presentation actually is the current stage of our video-based teacher professional development program for biology and mathematics teachers. When we were designing the program, we wanted it to be reliant upon the features of effective teacher professional development that we've found in the relevant literature. So we wanted it to be coherent with our teachers' beliefs about what it means to be a teacher, and we wanted it to be aligned with uh, curricular and educational policies in Croatia. So we think that was really important. We wanted our program to be of sufficient duration, or in other words, to last long enough to achieve significant changes in our teachers' instruction. We wanted our program to give our teachers the opportunity to reflect on their teaching practices in active uh, and collaborative learning in communities of practice. And we also wanted to include in our program uh, the relevant teach the theories about how teachers learn. So we wanted them to be focused on the content of the subject they're teaching in schools. So we wanted it to be either biology and or mathematics. And in our program, a really important role is given to the facilitators of the learning process of our teachers. And those mentors or facilitators are our um, teaching experts in mathematics and biology and pedagogists who work at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in Osijek or at the Mathematics or Biology faculty in Osijek. And what we also wanted to have is the sustainability of our program since our teachers who are included in this action phase of our research will uh, take on the role of facilitators of teachers learning in the next phase of our research project. So what I wanted to say before and I forgot to mention was that this, this uh, phase of uh, research is a part of a larger or umbrella research project uh, titled Teacher Professional Development aimed at improving student learning outcomes in biology and mathematics and the Croatian Science Foundation is fully supporting this presentation on one hand on, and on the other, the entire project. So why are we even concerned? Why have we devised this project proposal? Well, it's because our students um, haven't really been that good in the PISA uh, achievement uh, assessments and their results have been either declining or achieving the status quo. So what we wanted to give our teachers uh, an opportunity to participate in a professional development program which would enhance their existing capacities which uh, would give them the, actually the wings to fly to see how their students could learn better and to design a program of student of uh, professional development which would give answers to on how to teach better to get students to understand the content matter to really participate actively in instruction and to be uh, the only ones responsible for their own teaching. So uh, literature suggests that teacher knowledge, if enhanced and improved, can lead to better student achievement results. And that's what we are trying to do with our research project. 
And here we can see how teachers' beliefs and practices actually change in the right school conditions and improve student learning outcomes. So teachers should be engaged in effective TPD, as I've mentioned before. So that TPD should be sustained, active, and collaborative. And teachers should be monitored, so to speak, when they implement what they have learned in the professional development program. And in that way, we can see the, re the changes being implemented in their teaching. And hopefully, we'll get to see student learning outcomes improve. So once again, the phases of our research project were these. You know, the first one, which is over, and which we've successfully uh, terminated or we've um, exited, is that we wanted it to, in, in it, we wanted to determine the characteristics of high quality and effective teacher professional development and to design a teacher professional development for biology and mathematics teachers suitable for the creation of the educational system. In the second one, in the research phase we're in actually, we wanted to and we want to implement and improve our designed teacher professional development model through action research involving biology and mathematics teachers and the members of the research team. In the upcoming phases, we want to examine the effectiveness of our design model of professional development program with regard to student learning outcomes in biology and mathematics and due to COVID, we weren't able to start the experimental, experimental research, which was planned uh, to begin in September 2020. But due to COVID, we had to uh, postpone some of the project activities. So uh, this phase will begin in a few months time. And in the fourth, fourth phase, we want to propose an effective model of in-service teacher professional bio, uh, program for biology and mathematics teachers suitable and it's very important that I say this, suitable for the Croatian educational system. So the aim of our current action research is to design a high quality video-based professional development program. And before the, pandem before the pandemic, we wanted our experiences of learning to be blended. We wanted to have face-to-face -face meetings and we wanted to have some online activities. Our teachers were primar pri primarily supposed to meet in each other's schools, discuss their teaching. We wanted to have professional meetings and communities of practice in person. And the online activities were supposed to be discussions on an online forum regarding the recorded teaching of their or their instruction. And what we've already done in this phase uh, is this. We have, uh, we have had um, face-to-face -face meeting of the research team and uh, the teachers, where we learned about the characteristics of Montessori pedagogy, and we learned about how to implement um, features of effective biology and mathematics teaching in our classrooms. And teachers were engaged in hands-on activities, in active collaboration, and so on. And we really liked those experiences because we get to we got to uh, share our ideas and our problems and our visions and beliefs. However, we only got, got to meet once before the pandemic uh, because we uh, started our research uh, of this phase of our research in January of the last year. And our, all our activities actually came to a halt in March 2020. So we only had like two to three months to engage in meetings and to share our ideas, which is definitely not enough to get to know each other. And then um, we also, what I almost forgot to say, uh, started recording our teacher's instruction. And we also um, started placing those recordings on the Moodle system, where the teachers started engaging in discussions regarding the teaching. Uh, and on the Moodle system, they could do so they got to know the system, they got to know its possibilities, and everything seemed all right and according to the plan. However, life had its own plans and definitely we couldn't um, go on with, the, with our plan the way we were supposed to. And here you can see how it looks when we comment on our teacher's instruction. Uh, we firstly give an introduction to the lesson. Uh, we also share the video of our teacher's instruction and then other people from the research project um, engage in collaborative discussion. 
And however, as I mentioned before, uh, we had this nasty virus taking over our lives, so we had to uh, pose a few research questions. And one of the first ones was whether to give up on the project until the pandemic is over or to come up with creative solutions to such a problem and say, okay, COVID-19, we know you're here, but we're not gonna let you uh, disrupt all our research activities. And we came up with this action research question, which was how to move our teacher professional development fully online. And in other words, we wanted to know how we can enhance teacher learning in an online environment. Uh, so methodology we opted for was action research and especially the participatory par paradigm because everything that we've been doing so far and we've done so far and everything we were planning on doing in the future was reliant upon our collaboration with the teachers and amongst the research team. So our participants were still our 13 primary school, primary school teachers in mathematics and biology from grades uh, seven to eight, which were our target participants. And we also engaged as a research team in the research itself. So the course of action looked like this. We first had face-to-face -face teaching, which we recorded. We then held um, our communities of practice online, fully online since we were not allowed due to epidemiological measures to meet in schools. And in those communities of practice, our main um, principles were collaborative learning, video-based learning, reflection, and what we were hoping to get was more effective instruction. So how were we collecting our data? Well, primarily via videos of teaching and online communities of practice, which were then placed on the YouTube application and we also kept our research logs, field notes. Uh, we've been conducting structured and semi-structured and also non-structured interviews. We've also uh, been having facilitated discussions on the Moodle and the Violux system. And we also, we've also been using the classroom observation protocols. We have come up with a protocol ourselves, but uh, we've also been uh, using some of other researchers and the next question actually is what is being done and what is yet to be done. So to sum up, um, we've continued to record our teachers instruction and we have um, continued to visit our teachers schools. Um, we've also continued engaging in um, discussions regarding their teaching on the Moodle system. We've also found uh, the application Vialogs to be excellent when analyzing our teacher's instruction because we get to uh, post comments on and post questions to our teachers and add those questions to specific time frames in the video and teachers can respond to each and every one of our comments and it's an excellent tool which allows us to have a really really interactive discussion via this application and we've also been having our communities of practice online via the Zoom application, which is excellent because it allows us to have um, breakout rooms uh, in which our teachers um, can share their ideas and thoughts and engage in uh, different activities and solve tasks and so on. And it's excellent because it allows us to be flexible in time, in terms of time and space. We don't have to pay for food or transportation or anything else. Uh, we get to collaborate in an online environment. We can also share our screens like I am doing right now. Um, we can discuss uh, specific PowerPoint presentation problems, uh, problems presented in the PowerPoint presentation. We can share our teachers' videos of teaching. Uh, we get to work on some Word documents, which are then shared. Uh, in breakout rooms or in the main room on Zoom. And we've also been having our research team members on the Zoom application, on the Zoom actual platform. And definitely this pandemic has shown us how we can be flexible, how we can be creative. And definitely were it not for this pandemic, maybe we, weren't, uh, we wouldn't um, discover the patent application, which allows us to be uh, in touch with each other all the time and to place every single material that gets used actually in the program 
on a specific platform there it's all, all visible it's well organized and it helps us keep in track with all the activities in our professional development program so well, what our expected contribution to knowledge via this research is is actually to give some answer, answers on the question of how do teachers learn in an online environment especially on how can we um, get our teachers to participate in an online video-based teacher professional development. Um, the literature we've read hasn't uh, mentioned as much video-based online teacher professional development and that's why we'd like to get some answers uh, to which the pandemic has been urging us to give our answers to. Uh, and we also want to see what the role of the facilitator in an online teacher professional development can be and especially how distributed leadership can be accomplished in such an environment. So since our project is still ongoing, we don't have the answers right now. Um, the action research uh, phase of our research will should be done in May of this year. So by then, I hope we will have some answers to this question and hopefully we'll get to um, share them with you in our paper. So thank you or hvala in Croatian.